<clears throat> okay. The Legend of Bloody Mary. You know, initially they do some of the background on such as being the, the Bloody Mary style of urban legend or something it's called mirror mirror some it's referred to as dark mirror it's the idea of somebody's soul has been trapped inside a mirror and you actually can invoke them and certain weird things will happen you're initially told of you know, the the male lead the male lead is pretty much reliving the fact that this happened earlier a bunch of his friends were killed and he's trying to to process it the head portion story is actually pretty interesting it's him dealing with a with a priest and psychologists, and they're like, eh. and his girlfriend's kind of like, I, I think you're crazy, and he's like, this thing actually happened, I'm having nightmares. So that aspect is actually somewhat fresh from the urban legend standpoint. A big portion of the movie is also spent people actually going through and redoing the urban legend. Actually, I thought that the person dealing with the after effects of it was a more interesting storyline than watching some people more or less talk about how for a really cool part it's what they're going to do to freak somebody out. You know, so the portion where it's the guy dealing with the after effects of it, interesting. The portion where it's the the teenage girls talking about doing this and marking each other and all that, which is actually more of the true the true horror side of it, is very stock and very cliche. Okay. 